<laughs> what is it? Oh, do you remember this? Our very first little bit of muck on the bungalow. I know. Who would have thought that it would have grown up into this? <laughs> I'm so proud. I'm always welling up. <laughs> For old time's sake. Why not? <laughs> and so, for the final time, once again, Dick and Dom strike another blow for quality children's television. <laughs> The following stuff and nonsense from Dick and Dom in the Bungalow was first shown live between 2002 and 2006. Enjoy! Welcome, welcome to the final round of Game or No Game. After all these weeks of mind-bending strategy, it comes down to a simple game of chance. It quite literally is Game or No Game. You could eat the tension with a fork. Hello? Yeah, well, it's not easy building up this nonsense day in, day out, you know. Well, you've ruined the atmosphere now. I hope you're ashamed. So, let's play Game or no game. Choose a box. OK. Demonstrating, you want to choose this box. Now, if that is the box you want to choose and you don't want to swap it to this box or swap this box for that box or swap them in any other configuration and you have indeed made the choice and that you can't be choosy about the choice chosen, then this is your choice. If this box contains fairly hairy superstars, then this game has gone as far as it can go. But whatever happens, it's the best game we've ever played. Let's take a look. And it is indeed Burly Hairy Superstars. That is absolutely excellent. All that remains to do now is play the game. And this is me, a little lolly, saying goodbye. Hello. And the bank is saying goodbye too. Goodbye. Listen, about earlier. Yeah, I didn't mean it. Do you still love me? Of course I love you. Well, it's love or no love, isn't it? Belly Harry Superstars is the name of the game. Choose your favourite famous person from the Hall of Fame. They might be prima donnas, but don't stand for any grief. Just slap on loads of hair and shove in a pair of goofy teeth. Which famous person would you like to make Harry? Britney Spears. Well, we like to make dreams come true in the bungalow. Please welcome Britney Spears! <laughs> Mate. David Beckham. David Beckham. We like to make dreams come true in the bungalow. Please welcome David Beckham. <laughs> it's actually David Beckham. David Beckham. Kylie Minogue. <laughs> you lost Kylie Minogue. There you are. There she is. Look at that. There she is. Kylie Minogue, everyone. You can't get her out of your head. 
You certainly can't. Doughboy. Doughboy. How many balls and horses there is? This is Dave. Dave wants to make Harry. Who would you like to make Harry? Prince William, here he is, fresh off the ski slopes. There he is. Prince William, come on in. Who did you choose, love? Yeah. Me. Oh. Excellent. <laughs> and here he is. She said she chose me. But I know what you are. Yeah, so uh, Sophie, you want to uh, pair up me? Okay, okay. Here are the rules, very, very quickly. All you have to do, you've got 45 seconds on the clock to get the dirty Norris. Smear it all over your celebrity, then get hair, stick it all over your celebrity as well. And the one who's ended up with the hairiest showbiz celebrity will be the winner of the 180 bungalow points. 180 bungalow points. Uh, make sure you get thick, nice and hairy, and your time starts now. Well, at least it's not me. Oh, no. Go on, get your celebrities all. That's what they like. I can't believe it. I am here. I am playing the game. Come on, come on, please get it. Beckham chocolate. I'm sorry, talking to you, I'm there, Andy. And come on, look, Brittany needs a bit more chocolate. Come on, bit of dirty Norris. And I think you're looking a bit hairy, mate. Uh, seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two stick in your one. Teeth. Stop. Stop. Goofy Stop. Teeth. Get the goofy teeth. Stop. Teeth. Stop. Stop. Right then. Okay. Firstly, we're starting off with Ashley here. Ashley wanted the famous person Britney Spears with. Here's Britney. Britney, how's it going? Oops, I'm hairy again. <laughs> Very good. Chris, how about David Beckham? I think I need a haircut. <laughs> Nicole! And Kylie! Oh, I should be so hairy. <laughs> yeah, you should be so hairy. Uh, Mickey and Del Boy. This time next year, Rodney, we'll be millionaires. <laughs> Okay, and, and Pri Prince William over here. I'm hair to the phone. Hair to the phone. And last but not least, Dick Dicky Doodle. I'm a hairy little monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. There we go. So let's choose uh, who's going to be the winner. I think it's got to be. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kylie! <laughs> hairy little Kylie! Well done, Kylie. Sometimes it went marvelously, and often it was foul. But there were those occasions when good bungalows go bad. Hi, Melvin O'Doom at your service. Now, as you all know, in times of crisis, I call on the power of the dance. But as it's the last show, I'm going to leave you with the joy of the dance. Take care of yourselves and each other. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sarcastic kid, come up here. What do you think about that? It's really, really rubbish. <laughs> really it's good. Not rubbish, it's good. No, Sarcastically. It, no, it, it, no, it is rubbish. Come dance with me. Dance with him. And the music take you. It's a matter of fact that he likes a good chat All about this and that He's a bungalow star And he's your travel bar So there's no turning back from the cat flap Chat attack a -do -do -do, a -do -de -do. Ah, ah. Hello everyone As it's the last show of the series I just wanted to say Bye bye Oh, oh yeah, and leave you with a moment on the show that means so much to me. My tribute to Stoke on Trent. <laughs> Take care of one another and each of you, uh, every, uh, everyone, uh, oh, I don't know. Here's Stoke on Trent. <laughs> pussycat, pussycat. 
Uh, Where have you been? Well, I've been all over this week. Uh, but, you know, my favourite place, I've been to... Stoke on Trent. Oh, yeah, to Stoke on Trent. Historic town on the River Trent. It's a vibrant mix of the great and the good. Like Reginald Spitfire Mitchell and Josiah Wedgwood. Come and lose yourself in the pottery shopping centre. Why not try a snapshot? OK, it's a culinary adventure. Come to Stoke on Trent and see just what is meant by that welcome phrase of hey, oh, Stoke here in Stoke on Trent. My work here is done. This is the part of the show with all the bits outside the bungalow. We tease the public with a joke or a trick. Like eating meaty, dirty days and spotty dick. We met the nation as we travelled up and down. So grab your coat for bungalow bow town, bow town. We're here. Thank you. In Harrogate. Yes. And for the last time ever, we've got to stick stickers of increasing sizes onto unsuspecting members of the public's backs for the last time ever. And for the last time ever, if we get caught, we lose for the last time ever. So for the last time ever, let's play it. So, for the last time ever, here we go. Lay one. Lay two, lay on lay. Yes, please. And that's three, makes a lay on lay on lay. Quad from McCourt. Oh! <laughs> Getting a bit slipshod there, a little complacency creeping in, but he gets what he was after. Good start. Wood, on a mission. Can we? No. Well, he asks, can we? Someone's saying no, but he says yes. And he's enjoyed nice adhesion there. Come here, come here. Come here. <laughs> too much. Court now. Obviously, he can't win the series, but he's... Laying for pride. And that's where he's laid best this season. Oh, on the hat. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Big up. Got all day what, breakfast. What's for lunch? And that's a bar razor from nice? Wood. Going Maybe straight in for a big stick. <laughs> but McCourt's <laughs> having none of it. Look at the size of that! Okay, so, you, uh, <laughs> plenty of choice there then, aren't you? <laughs> plenty of Rice and chorizo. Well, whatever you eat, enjoy it. <laughs> Make sure you have a smile on your face. <laughs> And, it all and a smile on your back. <laughs> and these two great ambassadors of the game <laughs> relishing the challenge. Oh, my word, look at the size of those. They are phenomenal. In all my years of covering the sport, I have never seen such audacity as this. But that is the level that these two men are prepared to lay at. So Wood lines himself up for what could be a very, very sticky situation. Certainly for that lady. It's a massive challenge and a tall order. That sticker is bigger than he is. But then again, most things are. What kind of flowers are they? Tell the camera. What's Tell the camera what kind of flowers they are. They're what? Oh, are they Chinese cabbages? Yeah. Oh, are they? Oh. Are they real? And orchids. No, you can't eat them. Do you eat them? them? You don't. You don't. Can't boil them up no. for your Sunday dinner. Wood. What's the, what's the, yeah, you're going to be on TV. Positions himself. Listen, on We're not playing morning, that. What? Yeah, go on then. He's on on Saturday morning. Saturday morning, yeah. Birthday, you're on TV. Tomorrow. Is it your birthday? Oh. Happy birthday! Happy, How old are happy, you? Happy birthday. It's a tempting adhesion. Seventy. Without being noticed. Yeah, look at the flowers, Doc. Has he done it? Oh, get it off. Oh, no! Oh, get it off, she says. It's a rumbling. He hasn't done it. You caught me out. So McCourt takes the final game of the season. That's the power of the Chinese cabbage, isn't it? It's over. It's over indeed. I hope you've enjoyed the laying as much as I have. So this is Alan Sanchez signing off, wishing you an on pom stick wherever you are. Near body move. Bursting on the scene with a near body move. He's a Geordie cop with a case to prove. So gangsters, burglars, and cheeky juveniles.
Cause he'll get you back to rights And slap you in the Fat Files Fat Files Ooh, yeah oh. Typical To the last cheer and the gun and reinforce the Jeffin door Oh, oh yeah Detective Inspector Harry Butt here. Ah, oh, and this is the last year. So I thought I'd leave you with an example of police interviewing at its very best. Reel the tape. It's a mystery to me. <laughs> the game commences for the usual fee plus expenses, confidential information, it's in a diary, this is my investigation, it's not a public inquiry, I go checking out the reports, digging up the dirt, Get to meet all sorts in this line of work. Treachery and treason. <laughs> There's always an excuse for it. And when I find the reason, I still can he get used to it. <laughs> Sorry about that, I must have pressed play by mistake. <laughs> right! <laughs> well, I think that name and speaks for itself. So this is me. Detective Inspector Harry Batt signing off and saying, mind how you gear. You <gasps> don't have nightmares. Ooh. You praise idiot. Oh, you Harry Batt. It's the pick of the show and a long running blow to the hoity toity folk who don't enjoy a joke. If you've got a heart condition or a nervous disposition, go and buy some airports and call a good position because we're going to shout. I'm just catching some sun. Uh, we're here for the grand final of bogeys at Trafalgar Square in London. There is the bogeyometer to find out who it's going to be. So, without any further ado, should we climb a column and shout bogeys? I beg your pardon. Let's do it. Here at Trafalgar Square, the scene of this year's grand final. Bogeys. Both players very nervous. There's a 3.5 from Wood McCourt. Bogies. Beautifully played. That's a 3.9. <laughs> Here's work done. I'm taking photos for. Some of the crowd there making the most of the opportunity to snap <laughs> these fine athletes. Bogies. Ward with a 5.2. <laughs> Nelson up there in his column. Nelson on McCourt. His column. Showing off his encyclopedic knowledge of Bogies. British public art and hitting a 6.2 on the snotometer. Much to the delight of the crowd, specially gathered here today for this grand final. Bogies! And they'll be in no way disappointed by that tremendous thrust from Ward 6.5. <laughs> Nervous giggling from McCourt. Please. And Wood goads him Please. with his ease. Tremendous. Really sense the Bogies. rivalry between these two. That's a 7.0. Has Wood met his Waterloo? Bogies. Oh, kiss me, Woody. 7.2 over the shoulder. And it's ample. McCourt angrily growls out an 8.5. <laughs> A collection of Wood supporters there beginning to get the fear. Now, what does Wood have in response? The atmosphere is electric. 8.7 with a little twirly bit on the end. Shock and awe tactics by Wood. Bogey! 
Please! Eliciting a huge response from a court 8.9. Now, Wood, the gloves are off. And so are the shoes and socks as he gets into the water. For reasons best known to himself, what's he got? Uh, oh, yes! He's got a 9.1. The crowd are delighted. He's pleased. But he's paying the ultimate price now in terms of freezing cold feet. Right. Of course, Wood knows this means war. McCourt intending to fight to the last for this title. 9.1 to beat. Bogey! He's done it! It's a 9.2! A fantastic bogey under intense pressure. And the crowd are joining in. They're whipped up into a frenzy. Bogey! And Wood hits back, hitting a 9.3. But the crowd aren't taking it lying down. They get a 9.5. It's Dick and Dom versus the crowd. What's McCourt got? Bogey! He's got a 9.7 and a pounding headache. But the crowd, with a perfect 9.9, the boys concede. It's the winning bogey from the crowd. The real winners of bogeys are you horrible lot. Who could it be? No one. Nobody. Lovely. Well, that's ended that anyway. Hey. All right. Anything to say? I love it. A <laughs> 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 bit more. I, I just simply love it. <laughs> no, 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 no. So that's it, the end of the dairy. Huh. We played some games. Ping pong poodle all the way over the line, ping pong poodle's over the line, takes it, ping pong poodle takes it. We danced about a bit. I'm gonna dance in my pants. You can fly, then you in France. We had a laugh or two. <laughs> We had some good, clean fun. <laughs> we could say more, but we wrote it all down in a song just for us. Just for you? No, just for you. So until next time, take care of your others. <laughs> and each of yourselves. <gasps> Toodle pip. Toodle pip. Thank you. Cut there. <sighs> okay, actually, can we do it one more time? I think. Did you say dairy? Dairy? <laughs> Fifteen tons of mushy peas and muck muck. Norris, Cackalack and Poopy Woo. They really loved us in the House of Commons. We had a weekly spot on points of view. It's been a roller coaster ride of madness. We've loved every second of the show. But now the end is finally upon us. It's time for us to leave the bungalow. 263 shows have finally come to an end.
will fall on the bungalow. A million thanks to a million fans for getting up to watch the show. Dracula because Vlad is very attractive and a great actor and um, the, the ending, ending was like really really, really emotional. emotional my favorite TV show is Wolf Blood I love it and my favorite character is Yana because she is a really good actor and she's an inspiration to me so I want to be an actor my favorite TV show is Nowhere Boys because it is mysterious and spooky at some points I like it when they do all the spells and go into different universes. It is really fun and enjoyable to watch. My favourite show on CBBC has to be So Awkward because it's so awkward. My favourite character is Martha because she's brainy just like me. I love Dennis the Menace and Nasha Do. It is my favourite TV show because it is so funny and it makes me laugh every morning. Thanks CBBC. It's not just about the speed, it's not just about the costumes, and it's definitely not just about the bruises. It is all about becoming an ice star. My plan tonight is just smash it. Come on, don't let this slip from you. We haven't got this opportunity again. It is going to get very crazy. The brand new series of Ice Stars, Tuesdays at 4.30, only on CBBC.